Okay, today I wanted to share with you a drill that I call the reload drill. Uh, one of my really good friends who played the big leagues, Terry Jones, who's a fantastic instructor in Birmingham, Alabama, we were, we were talking about hitting one day. And we were talking about his routine of what he tried to do to kind of get ready for the season. And he showed me a drill that really I had never really seen or thought of before. And we implemented it with our kids and it's one of the drills that we'll do. Uh, at least one or two times a week. Um, it's, it's, we, I basically call it the reload drill. And what we're working on is what does our body look like at the point of contact? And we're just kind of repeating uh, that motion of feeling where we're at when we actually hit the ball. Uh, but one thing I wanted to do to, uh, to include into this drill is I took a, a, a small weighted ball that, that I had found later in the house, and I think it would be better if the ball was bigger, but I just took some black tape and kind of cut the ball in half as far as a green side and, and a black side. And our thought process in this drill is, you know, green is, is, the, is the go side and black is the, is the outside. Uh, so we got an inside part of the ball and an outside part of the ball. So if I were to line up in a regular T situation and I, I let my hands go out away from me, I would be hitting, have to hit the outside black of the ball and I'm hitting around the ball. So in this visual, and again, I think the bigger the ball, the better, the T just won't hold the basketball, or I would use the basketball for the demonstration. But my point of contact is basically the line or the green inside part of the ball. Now, I think what a lot of people have a misconception on is I'm not trying necessarily to work on hitting ball to the opposite field. I'm working on getting my barrel to contact and staying in the zone. So as a demonstration, if I were to get set up with the tee right off my front foot and I take my hands out and go around and I hit the outside part of the ball, and then I'm, I'm cutting across the strike zone. So if I were to hit the line or the green part or the inner half of the ball, then I'm going to hit to the ball and then my barrel has to go through the ball. So that is, um, to me, is a critical, critical part of either swinging on the correct path or swinging on the wrong path. And then I took a baseball and I just kind of did the same thing. And I put the ball just like this, and I said, okay, let's hit the, the go side, the green side of the baseball. But here's, so that's just kind of a visual that you can use for guys. But the drill is gonna look like this. So I'm gonna turn now like the pitcher is here, so you've got kind of the side on view. I'm gonna put the tee right off the front foot because that's our, that's our thought process. That's where our point of contact, that's where we're thinking every pitch, hey, we're hitting the center field and our point of contact is right off the front foot. That's our kind of our go-to thought. So I'm set up on the tee correctly. And what I'm gonna do in the reload drill is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have my rhythm, I'm gonna have my load move, and I'm gonna go to contact and I'm gonna stop right here. Now at this point, what I'm checking is for really different points of contact and are they on the baseball? So when I get to a point of contact, and I stop the bat right here. My contact point is the inner half of this baseball. My head, my shoulder, my hip, my knee, and my shoelaces. So you're one, two, three, four, five. My five points of contact are on the baseball. So that's the coaching point that we're looking at when we get to contact. So the reload drill is this. I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna go contact, reload, and then when I reload, boom, I'm gonna take a full swing all the way through the ball. And we're really, if we're in the cage or if we're on the field, we're trying to drive this ball to the back of the net or to the right center field gap. Now, when we do that, we are guaranteed that we hit the inner half of the ball and through the ball. When you see guys get in the cage and they beat the pull side net to death, those guys are hitting out and around the ball. So again, the reload drill, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm thinking about contact and I'm backtracking exactly the same path that I went on and then I'm gonna go. So we're trying to feel the muscle memorization of here's my path, here's my path, there's my swing. So 
Again, I'm gonna set up correctly, right off the front foot. I'm gonna to go to contact, check my position, reload, and boom, make a full swing, driving that ball to center field. So again, I gotta give props to my buddy, Terry Jones. If you're in Birmingham, Alabama, and you're looking for an instructor, he is a highly recommended guy, does a great job. He works very hard on not cage swings, but game swings, and I think that's what separates a lot of your instructors